Hello, today I'm going to share with you some of the embellishments and some of the products that I am planning to put into my art journal. I am going to be starting the process into mixed media, something new for me, so I wanted an art journal. And the art journal, I want it to be very fun, very earthy, something that reflects me. So here are some of the products that I'm planning to use for my art journal. Um, I'm planning to use stickers like these. I have more, but I can't find them. So some very earthy, flowery stickers. Some quotes that are stickers. These butterflies, I think I got them from Michael's. These are my favorite. I really like the, the color and I really like that they have polka dots on them. I'm planning to use those. I'm planning to use these. I have some more of these too. <clears throat> these are from the Robin's Nest. So really cute. I'm planning to use that as well. I call them candy drops. I'm not really sure if that's what they're called, but I really like the colors, the yellows, the blues, and the greens. So I'm planning to use some of those as well. Some appliques. I think I might use this one for the cover. This one's like a nice shimmery turquoise color and then I have these this is from the steampunk collection and it comes with the balloon I'm planning to use the balloon and then these are from the button shape set and I'm planning to use the hearts and the flowers maybe a crown or two and from the steampunk collection I'm using I think about maybe using the clock hands and the balloons and then I have some punch butterflies from my Martha Stewart punch and some punch flowers from my Friskers flower punch some bling and some like tags journaling tags and then I have some of these flowers from I think I got them from Joanne's so I'm planning to use those as well. These are the papers that I'm planning to use. This is from Die Cuts with the View, Dear Jane Collection. This one's from the Robin's Nest. And this one I'm planning just to fussy cut the leaves. And this one is from Glitter Leaf from the Robin's Nest. This is the one my daughter chose. She likes pink. And this one's um, Gray Pink Sorrel from the Robin's Nest. And it's really shimmery. It's really pretty. Um, this one I'm planning to use on the back side, and this one's called Birthday Stars, also from the Robin's Nest. This one is from the Die Cuts with the View Mighty Pulsa collection. That's the next one that I'm planning to use. This one, I'm thinking about using this one for the cover. I really like it. It's really shimmery. It's really pretty. And these two are from Die Cuts with the View. That one's really pretty too. And then I'm also planning to use dew drops from the Robin's Nest, some brads, some rub ons from the Robin's Nest as well. So that's what I'm planning to do for my art journals. So stick around for the rest of the series for part. Hello, today I'm going to share with you the images that I'm planning to put into my art journal. I'm starting into mixed media, so I wanted to journal my my scrapbooking adventure into mixed media cardstock. And I watercolored the image, and I'm using watercolor pencils. These are the ones that I'm using. And I watercolor the image, and then I added um, drew drops from the robin's nest. Here I added some blue ones too to make it look like water. And I added a flower right there on the bottom. And on this one I added the green one and some brown ones on the end of each line. This one's a complete one. This 
it's all glammed up and ready to be placed into my journal. These flowers, I fussy cutted them out and added them onto the image. And I added purple dew drops and a pink one. This flower is a stamp flower and I added a gold dew drop. So this is what the girls will look like once they're finished, all inked and ready to go. So I just wanted to share with you the first step into making my art journal. And the dew drops that I used are these right here. They're from the Robin's Nest. And I'm planning to add more, so stay tuned. And I'll upload part two once the girls are ready to go. Bye-bye. Hello, today I'm here with part two of my series. I am here with my finished images for my art journal. The girls are all blinged up and ready to be placed into my art journal. This one I'm calling Madame Butterfly. And here I added some dew drops from the robin's nest. And behind her I added some tool, some gold tool. This one I'm calling Alice. And here I added some dew drops from the robin's nest, some blue ones to make it look like water. Have a little glitter heart, a purple dew drop. Here's some gold dew drops as centers for the flowers. Here I have a flower here as well and a little heart tucked in. And the images I watercolored with pencils. Here's Mother Earth. Here are some more dew drops. I added brown, gold, and green. And then here is an almost finished page that's going to go inside my art journal. So this is almost done. And here I stamped some flowers and I fussy cut them and I glued them here. I also added one here tucked behind her ear and I added a gold dew drop. And this is a little tag that says remember. This one has the date, and here I have some hearts that I um, used to sense on gesso here on the bottom as well. And here's an altered paper clip, and on the inside. I used papers from the robin's nest and this one's called kiwi sorrel and it's really really shimmery and here on the bottom I have punch a punch flower two punch flowers and some lace sticking out and on this page I'm planning to do my writing and like put the picture here so I just added two fabric flowers here on the corner Here's the back, some more of those stencil hearts with gesso, and here I stamped some, some flowers and I added some sequins. On the bottom I added some butterflies. So that's an almost completed page for my art journal. I still have the pages to add to these stamped images. Some of the items that I'm using for for the pages I still need to complete are the dew drops from the robin's nest, some of the button elements. I'm also planning to use 
these leaves that I spray painted it gold and these are from the fanciful collections here's some flowers that I made out of paper some punch butterflies some tags I'm planning to use some of these as well So stick around for part 3 and part 3 I will have all my pages completed with my images and I'll give you a walkthrough so stay tuned for part 3. Bye bye. Hello, today I'm going to share with you how I created my journal pages for my art journal that I'm creating and what I did for my pages is I have an eight and a half by eleven and a half white cardstock paper and I'm using the recollections brand and I have it landscape and I just fold it in half and then with my bone folder I just it and then once I have this right here is when I get what well, my journal page my front journal page looks like before I actually add water to the watercolors I just divide the page into different sections of colors and then I add water and I kind of mix the two of them together so let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like after adding water Okay, so here is the front cover of the journal page that I'm working on. As you can tell, I watercolored the image, the the colors together, and I did use a circular motion to blend. I'm not sure if you can really tell to blend in the colors. So right now, I'm just waiting it for it to dry, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use a stencil and some hearts. And I'll show you how and where I added those gesso hearts to this art journal page. Hi everybody, today I am done with the art journal that I created the series for. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a walkthrough of my art journal that, I'm, that I created. Here I placed this butterfly, I actually got it in a pack from the dollar store and behind the butterfly I put some of the fanciful elements from ginasdesigns.net and I also have some of the robin's nest dew drops. The balloon here is from ginasdesigns.net and it's from the steampunk collection. And on the little basket, I added these little flowers. And these are the dewdrops from the Robin's Nest. The word art is from the Alpha Collection from October Afternoon Public Library. And here I just did a flower cluster. I layered these paper flowers. And these are fabric. Um, leaves that I tucked behind the flowers. Here's one of my homemade flowers. Here's another crochet flower. The pearl center and some of the tissue papers from the periwinkle collection from the robin's nest. And I put them behind and layered them behind the leaves here. And this clock hand is from steampunk collection from genusdesigns.net. And these little color pencils were actually gifted to me through a swap. And I just add one here and added the other one here for some more of the two drops. And this little bird right here was actually gifted to me as well. And the ribbons here are also gifted to me. So that's what my cover looks like for my art journal. And this is the first page. 
And I left some of the pages blank so I can actually write down techniques or tips from YouTube videos or, or classes that I'm taking. So this is kind of like a journal where I can draw and where I can write at the same time. Here's one of the girls that I watercolored and fussy cutted some flowers and added to her. And I also added some gesso. Here's the next page. Another page so I can write something. This is where I can fully draw something on there. Here's another one of the butterflies from the Michaels pack that I got. Here's another one. Here's another girl right here that I from the Primus collection, the Bloom collection. It's one of my favorite stamps. Here I did some flowers, a flower cluster here on the corner. And most of the papers that I used in this collection are from the Robin's Nest. And I'll link them at the end of the video. So. And here's another flower cluster and this one's the last page. Here's some some gesso hearts that I did. So that's the art journal, junk journal that I created. And it's going to house all my writings, my I process into mixed media. So that's the art journal. And here's something that I'm working on that's going to be put into the art journal. So I did this drawing. I put Mother Earth, some stamps. I'm planning to color them, watercolor them, and put them in her hair and around her. And then add the image to a page in my art journal. So that's, that's the general idea of why I created this art journal, probably in this one. So that's what I created and I'll have all the links to the products that I used from the Ramen's Nest and from GinasDesigns.net. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Bye bye.